air, online, on mobile. Fox Toledo News at 6.30 starts right now. Two lawsuits filed against a Toledo police officer for two different incidents. One of them resulted in the death of a mental health patient. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sean Haggerty. And I'm Laura Emerson. Here is the news for Monday, November 8th. The city of Toledo and the Toledo Police Department are also being sued. These lawsuits involve the death of Linda Hicks back in December and the serious injury of Nathaniel Lewis in January. Here's Allison Brown with why their families are taking things to this level. According to the attorney, Charles Boyk, the families want justice for their loved ones. They say Officer Diane Chandler was not properly trained to handle the two situations, and they are really hoping that the city changes policy. Back on December 14, 2009, 62-year-old Linda Hicks was shot and killed at Maria's adult family home on Fernwood Avenue in central Toledo. Suffering from schizophrenia and a heart condition, police got a call that night. Hicks was reportedly agitated and had a pair of craft scissors in her room. Crisis intervention officers were requested. So then the Toledo Police Department, instead of sending out crisis intervention police officers, sent out police officers that aggravated the situation resulting in her death. Officer Chandler is the one who pulled the trigger after police say Hicks came at her with the scissors in hand. Six weeks later, Nathaniel Lewis was a passenger in a stolen car chase. After allegedly exiting the car with hands up, witnesses claim Officer Chandler ran him down in her police cruiser. He suffered severe injuries to his neck and back. We did not even realize until about 10 days later that the officer driving the police cruiser was Officer Chandler. After the traumatic incident, instead of being placed on office duty, instead was driving a police cruiser around. We think it's in the public good to force the city of Toledo to reevaluate their policies. If the city of Toledo is not forced to do this, we don't think they're going to voluntarily do anything on their own. At this point, the city of Toledo has not commented on the lawsuits. Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News.